Everybody, welcome to our first lesson in how to make a tower defense game in JavaScript. In this first lesson, we're just going to tie together uh, HTML and CSS and see how these things are going to work. The vast majority of these lessons are going to be about JavaScript, but just to get things started, we need to have a little bit of HTML. If you don't know HTML, then I suggest you go back and learn a little bit. There's a ton of videos on the internet. But in the case that you don't want to learn it, there is a form of JavaScript that allows you to bypass that whole step. If you look online for p5.js, it's a library, a JavaScript library, that allows you to jump right into JavaScript without knowing any HTML or CSS. There are some wonderful videos by a guy named Daniel Schiffman. He's got a couple of books out. I highly recommend them to you. One is called The Nature of Code, and he has videos on the internet, just hundreds and hundreds. I think his website is called Coding Train. Highly recommend them to you. We're not using p5.js for this particular project. We're going to go ahead and do everything from scratch, and so we're going to start with some HTML. And for this entire project, this is all the HTML we're going to use. And so you can see uh, the key thing we're going to be doing in our HTML is linking our CSS and uh, to start off with just one JavaScript file. Uh, by the end of the project, we'll have multiple JavaScript files linked in the head, and the only uh, tag that I have in HTML is the canvas tag. We could have even done that in JavaScript, but this is our start and uh, this is where we'll go ahead and begin our project. Okay, so we're going to jump into the IDE. I'm using Atom. Atom is a great text editor you can use for JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, but you can use anything out there, Notepad++, Sublime, and so on. These are all excellent choices. I prefer Atom, and so this is what I use in my classroom. In any case, we're going to look at the uh, index.html. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have my JavaScript file connected. So I've got a guy called game.js, and so in my script tag right here, I'm going to uh, change this to game, and so that will link my JavaScript file to my HTML. The other thing is, I changed the title to tower game, and so that's good. I've got a CSS file called my styles.css, and notice I have that linked right here. And so this is how you link a CSS file, and this is how I link my JavaScript files. By the end of the game, I'm only going to have one CSS, but I'll probably have uh, a dozen or so uh, JS files. And I'm just going to, if I want to link another one, let's say I take this guy, I'm just going to copy him. Later on, I have another file called, I don't know, let's call him um, player. I can say, oh, I can put all my player code in a file called player.js, and then I just link it to my HTML this way. So here is my CSS, and you can see there's only two lines. It's one rule, it pertains to the body only. So this is my selector, and then I have these declarations where I have an element, and then I have uh, a styling rule. In this case, I'm setting the color. This is a hexadecimal value for the color of the background, and I'm setting the margin to zero. Any other styles I'm going to add in the game, I'm going to do it right through the JavaScript. And so this is all we're going to see for the entire project uh, through CSS. Okay, and so at this point, let's take a look and see what we have so far. There's not much going on in the JavaScript file at this point, but I've got my index and my HTML. All I've done is I've created a background color. So if I click on this, I open up and I see I have that background color green. I have my tower game up here, and I'm ready to start coding. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the DOM, and then we'll jump into uh, JavaScript. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.